Hey y'all, it's Rhonda with The Cozy Loft, and I thank you for coming to watch my second vlog. I hope you enjoyed the first one. It was a lot of fun to make. Um, been blessed to have some talented people all around me through my life, and my mother's grandparent or my mother's parents, my grandparents, owned a shop where Granddaddy built and painted and stained pieces as well as created pieces out of plaster. Then my grandmother, she would paint scenes or various subjects um, on them. Their shop was called Franklin's Gift Shop. And it was out in the country and people would come there from all over. They always would give uh, any kids who came, they let them pick one of the little plaster ducks or frogs or turtles to take home with them. So they were always very sweet to people and very good to kids. But my mother's brother and his wife had a home business called the Woodpecker's Nest. In that business, my uncle built things much like my granddaddy did, and then my aunt would paint on them. And uh, she was always so creative, I always had a special connection to her through painting. And when I was young, probably, I guess maybe about 14 years old, I painted for them. They went out and did craft shows all over, traveling from place to place. Aunt Beth had a deep love for snowmen and has well over a thousand of them. I actually have a little bit of that footage that I may share sometime in the future. Uh, I do want to check with her first and make sure that's okay. But uh, this week, I received a really sweet note in the mail from her. Um, it was just a really thoughtful note that meant so much to me. And I, she's having some health problems. And even though she's having those, she still took time to send me a little note. And she even drew a cute little snowman at the bottom, which you can see. Uh, creativity is in our blood, and it just is never going to go away. I took a little footage of this hair just because it was so special to me. I knew it was going to be special before I opened it, which is why I opened it while videoing. For this ornament someone had requested, she just basically gave me, I think she ordered six or seven ornaments, but she basically gave me some ideas of what each person liked. The one that I'm doing in this video is for the little girl who loved, uh, I think they said several things. She loved baby sharks and uh, llamas and baby dolls. So I did the uh, llamas and baby dolls. I think she had some other things too, but anyway, that's what I ended up choosing for this. So um, I thought her ornament could be centered around a sweet little pink llama. And it was such a delight to create this piece and I hope they cherish it for years to come.
One of my friends recently moved from Memphis to just down the street from me, and I'm so excited about that. Earlier this week, she asked me if I would like to go shopping, and of course, I did. <laughs> and I wasn't really looking for anything in particular, but I did purchase this awesome piece. Uh, in this footage, I just got it home. It needs some cleaning up, but isn't it adorable? I just love it. It's all metal. It's, it's kind of heavy, too. has a really good rustic appeal. Can you believe that I only paid $10 for this piece? I was so excited about that.
A little while back, I read an article about catnip and the differences between purchasing the catnip at a big box store versus purchasing it from an organic shop or even growing it myself. And later on, maybe I'll look into doing that. But for now, I just went and looked for organic catnip. And the best place I could think to do that would be Etsy. You know, you have to really look through the shops on Etsy. Because a lot of times you're going to get shops that aren't really a small business. But I did find a star seller that had um, a bestseller in the category that I was looking for. And her shop name is Simply B Vermont. And reading the reviews, I knew that's the one I wanted to order. So I placed my order and I just got that in. My 11-year-old rescue kitty, her name is Mietta. And she absolutely loves it. I've never seen her so interested in catnip as she is in this stuff. She loves the other stuff, but this is like next level, you know. <laughs> but uh, I went ahead and took the label off of it so I could open it on camera. There's a cute little paw print sticker on top. really good looking catnip you can tell it's large where the stuff that I've been buying at a big box store is very fine you know it's it's um it's not powder but it's not for, far from powder you know This is really cute packaging. It's a resealable bag with a label stamped on, so it's perfect for storage. Made in the USA, which I love to see that. <laughs> And inside the packing slip was a piece of candy, and I was trying to figure out what kind it was, and I found out later by looking at her page, it's maple candy. And that's such a thoughtful touch since the seller is in Vermont, which is, of course, famous for maple syrup. And that was a really nice and personal touch, and that is why you want to shop at Etsy. That's why you want to look through and find the ones that are really the home businesses, the person who is going to put care and attention to detail and they're going to care about packing your item and you're not going to get that at an impersonal large online shopping giant you're just not these are the people that one purchase can make such a difference
that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please like and subscribe. I'd really love it if you'd leave a comment, though, so I get to know you, too. I mean, the more personal that I get, I would really like for you all to tell me about yourselves, too, so it's kind of both of us just kind of sharing. So, anyway, I will see you soon.